Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Vipin Kumar. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Energy Science and Engineering at IIT Delhi. I'm trained as a materials electrochemist and I primarily work on the electrochemical rechargeable batteries. While I work on developing the next generation batteries, my research is guided by the broader goal of developing indigenous low-cost energy storage solutions of societal relevance. I joined IIT Delhi five years ago and have since established Advanced Batteries Research Laboratory at IIT Delhi. My research group is working on exploring uh, the fundamental electrochemistry of room temperature sodium sulfur battery with the goal of making them safer, efficient, and commercially viable. At its core, a battery works on the principle of the redox reactions, where ions move from one electrode to the other electrode, creating a potential difference and storing the energy within the electrode. Due to the high energy density of the room temperature sodium sulfur battery, they hold a great promise for the variety of applications, including telecom tower backup, satellite power systems, grid scale energy storage and long range mobility applications. So batteries have become an integral part of our day to day life. We are developing low cost, high energy and sustainable energy technologies, which is the room temperature sodium sulfur batteries. So we are developing battery in the lab. So the students, they are working on different aspects of batteries. So this is one of the such prototypes uh, that we are developing in our lab. So it is a room temperature sodium sulfur battery. It contains sodium, which serves as anode, and sulfur, which is the refinery byproduct. It acts as cathode. So these two things, they are separated by the liquid electrolyte. How does it work? During discharge, sodium ion travels from anode through the electrolyte, and they react with the cathode and they are making sodium polysulfides. So when the sodium polysulfides are being formed, a huge amount of energy is being released. So this amount of energy is sufficient to electrify your household application and the industrial grids. So we have all the facilities available in the lab to develop a large scale prototype so that we can demonstrate its feasibility. Imagine when sun is not shining and the wind is not blowing, so the energy which is being generated by these renewable sources, it can be stored within the sodium sulfur batteries. From powering cities to supporting renewable energy transition, sodium sulfur batteries are lightening the way forward. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to my hardworking and dedicated students whose relentless efforts uh, have been instrumental in turning this vision into reality. In addition to the research, I'm deeply committed to the teaching and the administrative leadership activities. I have designed and taught a range of the courses on battery and energy storage technologies at both the undergraduate and the postgraduate level helping train the next generation of the energy engineers and scientists. On the administrative front, I have had the privilege of serving as a convener for the School of Interdisciplinary Research at IIT Delhi, where I have contributed to fostering the collaboration across the diverse research domain. If you are a student, a research enthusiast and industry professionals, and interested in exploring the battery chemistries, feel free to connect with us. Thanks for watching.